Do I just name it Carl or should I name it a mixture of our names? Oh no, this is this is this is I'm the assistant manager here. This is all you. Oh, dude. I'm gonna be a girl. Oh yeah. Carly Nationality Hayden. American. Place of birth. What? Oh, they've got every uh yeah. Holy shit. The game's a little detailed. With okay, this. favorite team mm. is a loaded question. Oh. And I actually figured, since we're going to be doing Ooh. this for a bit, that we should actually talk a little. And uh, give a little introduction of what I actually know about the sport okay. and whatnot. Totally is that fair. Does that make yeah. sense? I feel like this that's is, a good... This is a very random collab to a lot of people. Yeah. Uh, shout out to my mom for explaining who you are in the chat repeatedly over the course of the day. Because I, I feel like we come from very different worlds. So Carl, <laughs> uh, Carl's a guy with great hair uh, and good ball knowledge. And I, I would say my ball knowledge, and I was thinking about this in the shower this morning. I was like, how would I explain it to a, a bunch of, to what's 2,000 people right now that definitely have better ball knowledge than me? And I think say, how I'd don't explain sell yourself it. Short. You, have, you have good ball knowledge. We bonded over, over ball knowledge. I'd say this, and tell me if I'm accurate, okay, Zeeland? Okay, okay. If I were to walk into like a bodega, I would probably know the most in that building. Oh, yeah, yeah. But then, probably. but then if I were to go to like a match in England, I'd probably be on the bottom 30%. Right. But Is you, that fair? But, but like, you know the offside rule comfortably, obviously. I know like all the know. rules. Yeah. I played, I, so I played a lot growing up and I was actually all right. I was pretty good. So that was, I played and then I found watching it from that. This is going to go so terribly. I cannot wait. <laughs> I feel like that's good. Yeah, I feel like I did good. That's actually a perfect picture for this. And then you have to line. Yeah, you have to frame the face up and you're going to have to do. There's like another step after this. That's even funnier. But Generate model. Here we go. I think I could probably turn my face cam back on, but I don't want to. I feel like it should have shown something by now. No, it, it, look to the right. That's your face in the game now. <laughs> oh, no, it's not. Is that it? Yeah, with like the skin color and everything applied from the other thing. Yeah, it is. Oh, ew. Wait, I have to like <laughs> fix my, cause I don't, I, wait, it's not letting me. Cause we gotta, I'm, can I remove that? Can I? <laughs> you, can, you can remove it if you yeah, want. Yeah, that is never going to exist <laughs> again. And I'm sorry. It's so, dude, my, mine was so cursed too. I'm so bad at eyebrows. Does, does that look like a normal human being? Uh, dude, just look at the camera. I'm she keeps moving looking. Her... I'm You're talking open. to her. Oh, <laughs> look at how much she moves her head when I'm like trying to look at the eyebrow. Like, why would you turn that way? <laughs> All right, cool. We did it. That's, That's it. me, Car Carly Jacobs. <laughs> Carly J. Actually, I could see that being that. Okay, we're gonna lead Sicily to the top of the Italian game. And then the top of Europe, and we're going to conquer everything. But first, we have to click start new game. <laughs> yeah! yeah! Let's go, dude! That's sick. <laughs> okay, so for those that don't, that's the team that we decided to manage a couple weeks ago. That is a Catania kit, and Carl has purchased a Catania kit. He is you ready to go. A club? Uh, career. Yeah, you can make your own club if you want to. So there's there are three things that people normally like to add to football manager. Now they're not entirely legal, but nobody really cares. Um, that would be like the badges, the real names, and the faces of the players. If we end up winning the Champions League, is that it? Yeah. Then we were going to go to Italy together and watch Catania play in real life. Amen. Wait, oh, you have skin? to. You, you, this, this is this is for you to read. You're being welcomed by the media to Catania. Oh, Catania have today confirmed the appointment of Carly Jacobs as the club's new head coach. Eyebrows have been raised in the soccer world at the appointment of an inexperienced 24 year old, <laughs> <laughs> and she is sure to face plenty of questions when she faces the media for the first time. At that, she replaces previous head coach Luca Tabiani. Exhilarating. All right, next. Okay. Yeah. That's in, we, we we can look at our squad on a different screen, but that's basically, those are the guys that we've got so far. 
once we okay. get the face pack in. But that, that'll take a while to send over to you. But once the face pack's in, hopefully they'll all have faces too. Oh, and these are the goals the board has set for us. So we have to work within the payroll budget. We are definitely in debt. Um, sign players under the age of 20 for the future, but they don't really care about that. Grow no. the club's reputation. Maximum one-year contracts for players over 34. They and need then, us to reach the playoffs this year. Is that what I'm being told? It's required, which means we'll probably get fired if we don't do that. So, so this could be the shortest <laughs> series of all time. <laughs> We shall not fail. Actually, we just joined Serie C, right? Well, yeah, but I think so. They got relegated to Serie D because they fixed matches. Then the new owners bought them, but they probably still had enough decent players and like set up to get back up. We might be good compared to our league. I don't know. Okay, but this club did just get promoted back up. Look, to be clear, before we know how good the team is, I do want to put on record. That we strictly just picked them because... Wait, we picked them on your stream. So we, we have proof. We okay. have proof that we picked it honestly, even if they end up being... Really we good. were like, that's cool. It's in Sicily and the logo is an elephant. So that's cool. Lay All right. Go to the top left and go to contract. This is where we're going to find out who the important players are supposed to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll click that right now. <laughs> the drop down where it says reports. And then... Uh, Oh, drop down to contract. Dude, right? that is crazy that you thought that I was just going to know that for a fact. <laughs> There's sorry. top I, left is like pretty much every single button that's ever existed in a video game. If you end up in the wrong place, it's my fault, not yours. I just <laughs> like it, it, this. This is my first time. I mean, Ooh. yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, I know. I know it's positives. I, good. Seri B team player. Wait, is it actually a oh, dude? We're going to destroy this league. I'm so... Oh, my. It actually says that. That's... Okay. All of these attributes oh, are going to be... Is. Yeah. All these attributes are going to be super overwhelming. Uh, the more you play the game, the more comfortable you get, like, understanding... Yeah, I imagine that. It's like jumping into the deep end, it feels exactly. like. But. This game... It took me two years to get into, like, of opening Football Manager and going, like, I'm overwhelmed by all this information. But uh, the thing that can help focus your eye is the highlighting. So, like, this guy currently on that position map that you see just to the right of his non-existent head, he's an inside forward off the right. So that's, like, Messi's position, basically. And so the highlighted attributes that you see are based off that position. So green being the most important, blue being secondary. So if you don't cool. know if a guy's good or not, and you know what position he wants to play, you can just look at those highlighted attributes and be like, okay, that's... So this guy has very high numbers in the things that he needs to have high numbers in to be a good inside forward. He is 31 years old. Uh, so his natural fitness is 13, which means he's old oh, Cosmos probably got another year or two before he starts to really get old and slow on us. Okay. Oh, he's an old no nonsense center back. We love to see it. There we go. It's not as Decent good as the other guy, but Serie B player. Serie B level again. Holy shit. Yeah, I I think that our team is oh he's Argentine as well. We've got a we've got a foreigner in the ranks. Okay, and now let's click on the third important player. We're just gonna learn who the guys are that based off their contract are valued. Super Ooh, highly. our number ten, a little old, thirty four. <laughs> but he's <laughs> is that okay? He's yeah, like a striker. So he only can so what that means is he can only play striker. There's no other position on the field that this guy can play. Got it. Um, and this already gives you an idea of how good Cosmo is, because if you look at like the highlighted attributes for this guy, they're just lower than yeah. what Cosmo is. What's like is. a number that we should be excited to see right now? Totally depends on your level. Like, for example, if we were in the sixth division of England, this guy would win player of the year 100 times out of a 100, right? Like this guy would Got be it. the best player there. For Got the it. third level of Italy, this guy's definitely competent. I don't know, like, what you, what you, what does your coach say about him? You're kind of behind my head. I'm going to move you. He says, uh, decent Serie B player. Yeah, probably not. Uh, or probably, probably right. Okay. So there are, okay. because this game's not complex enough, right? There are about 37 attributes that you can see. There are about nine that you can't. Which is what keeps some of the mystery in the game. That's cool. There's pressure. There's adaptability. Now, you get those through scouting reports, but only like the, we know they like big matches or we don't, but it's also on a scale of 1 to 20 like every other attribute in the game. My boy He's has 21. 
Hey. And that's where the potential comes in place. So this guy could potentially get better as well. You know, Wonder Kids and Nice. Football manager is self replenishing. I've simulated the game about eight hundred sixty years into the future and all of the teams that you know, like they're still world class players and stuff, it like survives. Ooh, he's, he's not. born in the year two thousand. Yep. He's not uh, this game will good. make you feel super old super fast. Yeah. He's not as good, though. You can kind of tell that at this point. Uh, but he plays left wing. All right, let's go to the next guy. We're just learning who we have. Ricardo Landonetti. Got it. So he's our best midfielder, it looks like. He's like uh, more he's, of like an attacking midfielder type play? He's different. Yeah, he's, he's a better passer than the last guy. Um, okay. But he's... He's like well rounded. He's just fine. You see a lot of those mental attributes at like eleven and twelve. He just he, he's all right. He's going to be an average player for us. Just get the job done. All right, and, and I his, feel like we're getting. What do the blue ones yes. represent? He's loaned in from another club. Got it. Uh, this is oh, he's our goalkeeper. Oh hell yeah. So he's on loan from Pisa. I think they're a second division team in Italy. You can see that uh, under his. He began in AC team. Milan. Hey, he's got the pedigree. Every part of the game you don't want to deal with, we can hand to our staff and then unpack over time. There's a ton of information in Football Manager that, like, there's a whole data hub. There are tons of analytics. Like, I've made videos about how to play Moneyball type saves and stuff. But the good thing is you don't need to access all of that to be able to succeed. We have our team. We have our tactic. We could just go ahead straight to the first game. And we would probably be fine. The team we've selected just happens to actually be very good relative to the team we're playing against. Okay. But there are but a few section of the yeah, what we wanted to scout. We do. Right? We do. And that's one of the sections of the game we're going to. So go to scouting. <laughs> Premier League clubs will have anywhere from eighteen to thirty scouts. So we don't have a lot of ability to scout anything, really. But we can manually scout. So go to scouting again, now that we can dive into this. Oh, there's 1,100 players right now that don't have a team that we could That's... sign. Can we, we edit more then? Yeah, exactly. But we need a way to narrow that down more. So my favorite way to do this is to go to additional conditions and add a condition in the bottom right of this screen. Of course, yep. Yeah. And then there's international, if you scroll down. This is a, very, this is a deep cut. This is a deep track. And you want international caps. So these are players that have made an international appearance for their country. And then you just add a plus one. Now there's 28. But that's crazy. So these people have played for their international teams. Yes. Now some of and them, they're like, free to us now. They are. And they're interested in playing for us. And this guy's name is Zaza. Okay, hold on. Is he, is he Italian? He's Italian. Click on him. He has 18 caps for Italy. And two goals for Italy. Okay. And his so, last name is Zaza. I mean, I, I don't know about you, but I want to scream, serve up some Zaza. And he, he played Atalanta. Chat knows who he is. I actually don't know who this guy is. My ball knowledge has been exposed. But this is like a known. Oh, he took a Oh, he's like a, the... he's like a real human. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, this is like a real. Well, I mean, he has 18 appearances for Italy. That's no joke. That's, yeah, that's for real, I guess. But the issue is we don't know his attributes entirely because of the whole fog of war thing. So wait, like, he played in... Don't. Wait. He was at Torino the last... What was that? Last four, five years? Wow. And now he's down to play in Serie C? He's so strong, too. So there's two options when you're looking at a guy that's free. You can offer him a trial, which means he comes and practices with the team, and then we figure out what his attributes are. Or... If we're like, this dude's just so good, we already want him, which I think is kind of where we are. Yeah. We can just offer him a contract. But before we do that, go yep. to finances, because I don't want to accidentally bankrupt us on the first day. Finances oh, on, this is side? on the left, yeah. So cool. we have so our wage budget's on the right, and so is our transfer budget. So we have almost no wage budget available. So go to make budget adjustment under the wage budget, and then slide some of that transfer budget over to the payroll. Oh, hell yeah. How much? Tell me when to stop. Uh, that's probably good. We cool. can work with that. So let's hit the back arrow in the top left, and we'll go back to Zaza. And now contract. And we Let's say, like, so this is something in FIFA. Okay. 
is like, let's say we're like, oh, we kind of like Zaza. Can we like favorite him and then come back later? Yes. So you would do that by going to transfer in the top and don't click on it. Just like we're, we're and then there's a thing called shortlist. Add to shortlist. All right, yeah. perfect. That's what I, th okay. Yeah, that's what it's, okay. And we're here. The cool thing is you can create multiple shortlists. So say you want to keep track of one person because their contract's expiring, but another person because they have high potential and you might want them eventually, you can add them to different shortlists. Cool. Um, but for Simone Zaza, I think we just want to sign this guy right away. So there are two screens. The first is promises and playing time. So Zaza cool. clearly is way too good to be playing for us. We know that. He yep. also knows that. So his his expectation is he's going to be a star player and play like literally every game. So this is what he came to us with? Yes. Okay, got it. And he wants us to improve our coaching staff and improve our midfielders. We're not going to do that because that's scary and we don't know how to meet that promise. So I remove that? Remove, yeah. Don't click remove and exclude, just remove because that can get a little perilous if you remove and exclude and then he decides the deal breaker is that he needed new midfielders. So remove cool. those. We're okay with star player. At least I am because this guy seems like a baller. Yeah, his last name is Zaza. Exactly. So suggest promises on the bottom. All right. His agent's okay with that. We move to the next phase. So this is the financial business end. There are a million things you can do here to try to negotiate this contract. You have your base salary at the top. You have the signing on fee, which is basically paid out over the length of the contract. You have cool. the agent fee, which is a lump sum that goes to the agent. And then you have the duration, which is how long the contract is. So my idea here is he wants about $400,000 a year. That would put us, if you look in the bottom left, over our payroll budget limit. So we probably don't want to do that. There you go. Okay, 300000 a year for my boy Zaza. Here we go. Let's go. Wow. It's not over, but that's a good start. Oh, it's over. It's over. Because we're right. going to walk away. <laughs> <laughs> this is our Could great you imagine? open story, dude. Yeah. What a hot start we'd be off to. I've actually finalized clicked deal? it before. Yes. We're signing free players. So go to players at the top. But players we want to at least look at these other dudes. Sort by Got age. It. I'd sort by age. There, yeah, that column right there. Ooh, look at Korich. Yeah. Isn't he playing that midfield that we need to yes. strengthen? Yeah, he is. Now the, I can hear the wheels turning. That's N Yeah, so click on Anthony Korich. Where was he? Oh, he was, uh, he was on Roma's team last year. This guy's uh, would probably be an excellent pickup. Zero appearances, but he, did, he, was, on the, he was on the team. He was there. I mean, he has four appearances for Croatia, which as far as we're concerned in the third division of Italy, this guy's probably a god. That means that he is, as a center mid, played alongside Modric. Correct. That's he, crazy. He has Modric's phone number, which that's good enough to get in our team. Yeah, I feel like that's uh, all it takes to be a Catanian. <sighs> is it just that simple? It can be, but let's trial him. Let's make sure that he doesn't actually suck. So go to transfer and go to offer trial. And what you want to do is two weeks. If he's, if he's with us for two weeks, then we'll know everything about him by the time the trial's done. Okay. So we do that and get rid of all them fancy messages. You know, he has 23 appearances for Denmark. Let's trial him, too, if you remember how. Let's of do, course do. I do. Wait, don't tell me. Transfer. Nope. Offer trial. Two weeks. Yes. Cook. Do not ever show me that again. Cook. Boom. Oh, hell yeah. I'm learning. Let's go. So maybe Should I introduce manage. myself to the squad? Uh. Oh, yes. Do that. Yes. I wanted to take the opportunity to introduce myself as the new Catania manager. I'd like to introduce myself as your new head coach and answer any questions that you may have, particularly if you're not familiar with me. I feel like that's the... I'm just going to go with my gut on these unless it's, like, super important. No, you got this one. You just tell me when I fuck up. Uh, it'll be obvious, but you, you, you got it. I have nothing else to talk about, actually, so... Yeah, you can just... <laughs> if, if, should I, should I, I just do that? You, you can, because the... Inter the, the <laughs> The thing you could do here is like, oh, I want to talk about what we're going to do in Serious C. But then if you set the wrong expectation, they're all going to be like, wow, you're not being ambitious enough. Or, wow, you're being too ambitious. And then they all get mad. Got it. So yeah. sidestepping is never the wrong choice. Then you're done. 
you've introduced yourself. They know who you are. You'll get a minor <laughs> boost to their... And we're all encouraged, frankly. Yep. Huge. All right. Oh, how do I tell them? Now that I got my boy Zaza, can I type that one in? I don't... You, you can add additional comments. <laughs> I think that's <laughs> Zaza will be the key to love, life, and the pursuit, the prostit, the, the pursuit of happiness. Yes. But you can just hammer a uh, hammer space bar. Sorry, chat. I've been so into explaining. I haven't I've been paying enough attention to you. How chat, how are you finding this so far? No. What? No! Oh. No! Damn it! Tom! Tom Brady stole our uh Tom Brady stole our striker. God damn it, Tom Brady. I thought we were cool. God. He's got he's got skills. He's like uh one of those guys that dribbles the ball on the street for money, but he doesn't actually know how to play. Like but this works. Let's offer him a contract. As much as, as, much as I design. dumped on this guy, he'll he'll be a really good player. If we he's like him. a fucking moron, like a pretty much an ape. Uh yeah, let's go ahead and sign him. So here you wanna you wanna really fleece this guy? Because there's a way that we can do that. Yep. We're not going to get relegated, right? Because we're too talented. There's no way we get relegated. Mm -hmm. So go to add clause. And there's a thing called a relegation release clause towards the bottom. Zero dollars. If we get relegated, he can leave for free. Cool. That's awesome. And But what that does is it makes them feel a lot more comfortable so they'll accept a lower amount of salary. Because they know, awesome. he, he knows if we go down, he can just leave. That's um, perfect. So let's we lower the salary even more. We, you know, we th also this agent has a ton of patience, so we can negotiate all day with this person. Two eighty six is crazy, and yep. this guy needs to be put down, like the rabid animal he is. If he thinks we're going to give his client two eighty, uh, they're I going mean, down, but slowly. Just go to two oh eight again. Just strong arm him. What's up? Oh, they're going down. Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What? Yeah. What the hell is up? Birmingham's like, hmm. Yeah. We like Croatians too. That's what they're doing. Suck. Oh, this guy might be good too. Let's check out this kitten. Yeah. <gasps> so his attributes are are very very good. Um, he's 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 quite a quite a speedy boy with the acceleration, the pace. Um, mm. for a defender. Like for a guy that plays left back, uh, yep. he has a lot of technical skill. As chat, chat, this this is a good player, right? Chat, the way chats reacted, take control. Hell yeah, confirm. Holy shit! So we're, 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 basically, what's going to happen is we're going to manage this match in a couple of days. Well, hey, this friendly against whoever the hell that is, I have no idea. We've signed Auntie Courage. So I click accept, right? Yep. Or delay. No, we want to accept because the delay would open up an opportunity for another team to swoop in. But we've got our boy, Anti Korich. Big sign. Just in time. Uh, Chorich will be at the bottom here. So if we scroll down, there he, there is. he is. So we'll, what we want to do is drag him in in whatever spot we want. You can drag him straight onto the tactics screen on the left. But we have to decide who we want to get rid of in like our starting lineup. So he, this guy is obviously Mid. worse than Chorich. Yeah. So like Chorich, Chorich is definitely a full-time starter on this team. This guy seems to be better than that last he guy. Is. You're right. Okay. So what we're going to do is replace Zamorini with Chorich. Now we're also going to, we're going to change Chorich's role. Got but it. First, we're going to move him to the left side because Chorich is a really offensive player. So like if we click on him. He doesn't have very good defensive stuff, which would be tackling, marking. Um, he's an attacking midfielder. He's somebody that gets forward. Think like uh, like a Kai Havertz or something. This guy gets up the field. He involves himself in the attack. He doesn't do a lot of the defending. Yep. So we're going to want him in a role kind of like center mid on attack or advanced playmaker. And we want him on the left because you have an inside forward on the right. So, All right. sub, uh, submit team, you're ready to go. Holy shit. We're doing this. So they're in a really weird tactic, which means this is going to be a bit of a strange game. Oh, no. Uh-oh. 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 
That's all right. That's all right. We're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. So that was, uh, if you're counting, their first possession. Deli. Oh, he's got him. It's George. It's George. Oh, my God. (laughs) Oh, come on. Take your time. Oh, there's George. Take your time. Jesus. (laughs) A hey, big issue we've got is we don't have a lot of the ball. They have 71% possession right now. Look, but they only have 50% of the goals. <laughs> it's very true, honestly. But they're, I, I think our defense might be a little low, but we can fix that at halftime. Oh, oh, but he missed it, though. Oh, but, oh. I don't think he did, though. I guess, you know, we're screwed. We're starting to take over a little possession. Am I crazy? No, we are. We're Get in there. (laughs) Great effort. Good games, laddies. That is perfectly said. Uh, (laughs) You lower the speed. Yes. Okay. We're fine. We are uh, we are gaslighting the rest of the league into thinking we're bad, and we will win the league, and we'll be fine. Uh, the players don't know the tactic yet, which is a contributing factor to that. You just need to decide what kind of manager you want to be in this situation. Um, this? That seems positive, yeah. Much improvements needed. Oh, you've inspired them. Mm. <laughs> oh, dude, we got Dermizi. Oh. He picked us over the team in the league above us. Wait. He believes in us. He rejected the offer from Reggiana, and he said, I want to be a part of this project right here. He likes it. He digs it. He's dead. Look at him. He's in. Making moves. Well, this is going to be fun because we actually don't know how good this guy is until he joins the club. Then we'll see his attributes. Have him work box as a box midfielder. Support. Yeah, that's a great style right next to an advanced playmaker and attack. So now click on him. I want to see them attributes. <laughs> I mean, he's he's good. He's not like unbelievable, but he's definitely really good. He's a great team player. He's not short. He's a good athlete. He does. He, he does everything. He's a quintessential box to box midfielder, and we did it. We did it. We've signed actual good players that can carry us up the leagues. 